Knives are a common item used by just about everyone. People who work in kitchens or other food preparation environments work with or around knives every day. Too often, we don't pay enough attention to knives and the potential hazard they present. This short training program is designed to make you more aware of your safety responsibilities when working with knives and other sharp objects. We can't cover every aspect of knife safety in this short program, but we do want to increase your awareness by presenting some basic safety rules. According to OSHA, all places of employment must be free of recognized hazards that are causing or likely to cause physical harm to employees. Certainly knives fall into this category, but we can't just do away with knives. What do you do to reduce the hazards? Well, to start, you must follow all of your company's safety policies and procedures. Some companies require anyone using knives to wear a protective glove to avoid cuts. There are two basic types of gloves. They both have limitations. Metal mesh gloves can protect your hands from cuts, but they offer no protection against punctures. The sharp point of a knife can penetrate metal mesh gloves. The same applies to flexible gloves, as shown here. Latex or rubber gloves prevent contamination, but offer no protection against cuts or punctures. Another thing to remember about gloves is that they should never be worn around moving machinery or equipment, such as a bandsaw. Gloves in this case are hazardous because a glove can get caught in the blade and pull your entire hand and arm into the cutting path. When using a bandsaw, move the guide as close as possible to the item you're cutting. This reduces the chance of the product binding or the blade whipping from lack of proper support. Don't wear gloves when operating machinery. Gloves can become unsanitary after using them, so it's your responsibility to make sure gloves get cleaned and sanitized at least once every shift. Did you notice we said cleaned and sanitized? Let's explain that, because it applies to almost everything in the kitchen. Knives, working surfaces, you name it. Cleaning means removing dirt, food particles, and other debris. Cleaning doesn't kill bacteria. Sanitizing is the process by which you use a chemical or simple bleach and water solution to kill bacteria. After you've cleaned and sanitized your knife, don't touch the blade with your fingers, as this can contaminate the knife. Don't forget to clean your knife scabbards or holders. These can become clogged with meat or food particles, so make it a habit to keep them clean. If you drop a knife on the floor, always clean and sanitize it before using it again. A very important practice in any food preparation environment is washing your hands frequently before beginning work, when returning from the bathroom, and any time your hands become dirty, wash your hands and wrists. Bacteria contamination is a serious hazard in a kitchen. Wash your hands and wrists frequently. One last thing about cleaning and sanitizing. Never use a knife that has cut one type of product, then use that same knife to cut another product without first cleaning the knife. Always wash your knives before changing from one food product to another to avoid cross-contamination. Never place knives or other sharp objects in water for cleaning. The water can conceal a sharp knife, so you want to store dirty knives in a suitable rack or bin where everyone can plainly see them. Okay, let's take a look at some safety tips about using knives. The very first rule is that any knife you use must be sharp. Dull knives can cause hand and wrist injuries, and they just don't do the job. Remove any defective knives from service. When you're sharpening knives, watch what you're doing. It's easy to talk to a coworker or not pay attention, but sharpening knives is a serious business that needs your undivided attention. When you're done with the knife, put it in its proper storage place. Never leave knives lying around. They are a cut or puncture hazard waiting to happen. When you're walking with a knife, hold the knife by the handle with the tip pointing down. In the event you trip or fall, this will reduce the potential for injuring yourself or a co-worker. When handing a knife to someone else, present them with the handle, not the blade. Remember, present them the handle. Keep your work area and knives clean. 
fat or other substances can cause your knife to become slippery, which is certainly a safety hazard. If your knife is slippery, clean it immediately. The same rule applies to your shoes. If they become slippery, take the time to clean them. Safety is your responsibility. Double check your knives before you use them. The blade may have become dull, or there may be a nick or cut in the blade that could be a hazard. Inspect your equipment on a daily basis. Use your knife only for its intended purpose, to cut food products. It should never be used to open boxes, cut paper, or used as a screwdriver. Use knives only as they were intended. What happens if you do experience a cut or injury while using a knife? Of course, the first concern is to notify your supervisor of the accident and get the required medical attention. If there has been any blood dripped into the product, the knife, or anywhere else, there are specific procedures that must be followed. All material exposed to blood or blood products must be treated as if it were contaminated with a biological hazard. Anyone providing first aid must wear rubber gloves to avoid exposure to HIV or hepatitis B. First aid supplies such as gauze or other materials that come in contact with blood must be placed in a biohazard bag. Everything that blood touches must be cleaned and sanitized according to your company's policies and procedures. Hepatitis B and HIV cannot be ignored. Follow the procedures. Before we finish the program, let's take a look at box cutters. More injuries occur from box cutters than with knives. The primary cause of box cutter injuries is when an employee places their hand in the cutting path of the blade and the cutter slips, resulting in a cut finger or hand. Always keep your free hand out of the cutting path. Keep your legs and knees out of the path as well. Always close the cutter when not in use. And never place a cutter open or closed in your pocket. Pay attention when using box cutters. They can be quite dangerous. Common sense and good judgment will help you maintain an accident-free work environment. There is no reason for an employee to be injured on the job if you pay attention to what you're doing and follow safety rules. The company provides you with training, but it's up to you to put this knowledge to work. Think safety every day. Thank you.